I'm Chris Earl in downtown Punta Gorda. The Sunseeker Resort is across the bridge in Port Charlotte, but the resort is accepting reservations starting in mid-October. So we're looking to see if there might be an impact right here in Punta Gorda. People might be staying over there, but they could be eating here, enjoying time here, buying gifts here. But first, let's take a look back at the resorts and how the build is going. The Sunseeker Resort's Charlotte Harbor is boasting 785 rooms, a golf club, two pools, and also enough space for the big events, conventions, wedding celebrations. We've been tracking the progress of the Sunseeker from this vantage point, Live Oak Park, at the foot of the Baron Collier Bridge between the two cities, from January of this year to what it looks like right now. Any resort aims to be all-inclusive, but for the thousands of travelers who will fly into Punta Gorda Airport and check in at the Sunseeker, they'll most likely drive this path right through the heart of Punta Gorda. We have the restaurants, we have the retail. We've been through two major hurricanes, COVID. This is an opportunity that we need to take by the neck and make it work. We can see that even on one restaurant on Marion in downtown Punta Gorda, looking to align its opening with the fall, the same as the Sunseeker, as well as the hopes a new resort not even two miles away could help fill in some of the empty canvas. The city of Punta Gorda is heavily involved in, in looking at the downtown lot that's still open since Hurricane Charlie in 2004. And hopefully if we can attract through Sunseeker's arrival, new development there, that will give us a new downtown core that, would, that everybody can benefit from from residents, visitors, and new businesses alike. For the thousands who drive past the Sun Seeker each day between the two cities, the progress can be tough to spot, but it's coming, and businesses on both sides of the river are counting on it. In Punta Gorda, Chris Earl, Fox 4 News.